Welcome back to the Carpe Noctum Show. I'm your host, Carpe. In today's video, we're going to continue doing some retro looking into. Today we have retro handheld video games. Now I know most of us, I'm in my late 30s, most of us remember the old Tecmo Bowl, the Tiger Electronic Games we also used to love and drain our parents' bank accounts buying batteries for because they die. Well, let's go back even further. The very first handheld game console. This was Microvision, uh, Blockbuster, um, I think Tetris, play Tetris. Only 12 games to, known to exist for the system. Ooh, excuse me. It was released in November 1979 and discontinued in 1981 by Milton Bradley. Now at the end of this video, Actually, you know what? No. Look down below, and you'll see a picture of each one of these systems as I talk about them appear probably there. Behind my head. Next up, we have Game & Watch Series. It's a prominent line of early dedicated handheld consoles. Ran from 1980 to 1991. A nice 11-year run by Nintendo. Um, good old black and white digital uh, Children's Discovery Systems ran from 1981 to 1984 by Mattel. Uh, looks like a laptop computer, but really old. <laughs> you had Adventure Vision. Uh, these were little mini arcade style games like you see today that cost a butt ton of money. Uh, it's contained in an Intel CPU, believe it or not, and this was 1982 to 1983 by Entex Industries. It had cartridges you could play. Sold over 50,000 units. Ah. Uh, we have Portable Video Game System, later renamed to Super Micro. It literally looks like an old school version of a DS. Only three games known to exist played cartridges containing a colored sprite overlay using a monochrome LCD on top of the overlay to cover uncover each sprite during gameplay. From 1984, that was it by Palm Tex. That's really cool actually, you guys might like that one. And we move on to a newer generation of games we had what they called light games. Now, I remember these when I was growing up. We actually used to have a Ghostbusters one for me and brother. A uh, combination projector and handheld video game plays cartridges with built in LCD screen. 1988 by Grandstand. Okay, now everybody remembers the damn Game Boy, right? I remember the Game Boy with that green screen, you know, Mario, Pokemon, you know, the whole nine yards. Game Boy actually released in America in July 31st. 1989. So believe it or not, that came out roughly six years after I was born. Discontinued in 2003 worldwide. Uh, Nintendo's manufacturers, we all know. It sold a common, combined in all Game Boy versions before it became DS. We're talking Game Boy, Game Boy Color, uh, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy SP. Now, personally, I preferred the Advanced and the SP Advanced because of the bigger screen. SP because it's nice and foldable. Uh, worldwide, they sold 118.69 million units. That's a lot of units. And we only got a couple more here we're going to round off with. Game Gear. Oh, everybody has the second Game Gear. I think I actually still have one floating around here somewhere. Uh, released in August 20, I'm oh, sorry, April 26, 1991. Discontinued in 1997. I know it had a short run. But it was actually really, really cool. You actually had a TV accessory they sold with this thing where you can get free TV at the time back when we still had UHF and, eight, you know, VHF antennas. So you could literally sit there while you're riding something and watch TV. Ah, uh, Turbo Graphics. Oh, gotta remember Turbo Graphics. This is gonna be our last one for today. Uh, 
we'll do another video another date for with more of them so anywho turbo graphics came out with what they call the turbo express their version of the game boy slash Sega Master System. I mean, it looks just like a Game Boy almost, except for it has a little bit of a covered screen. Plays ROM cartridges, can be connected to a TV with a TV tuner, sold 1.5 million units. It was introduced in November 16, 1990, and discontinued in 1994, sold by the NEC company. I believe that was Nintendo Entertainment Company. But as always, this is Carpenactum. You folks stay safe, and I'll see you around.